Happy birthday. Wanted to try out these e jocks. I'd say the worries bothered us more with the motorhome. Somebody's gonna pull the Airstream for the first time. Quite a few that have been leaving this morning. We went a lot faster yesterday. No, we didn't. Someone. So can't stop looking at ya. We were just stopped. They had uh, U.S. Border Patrol. I think I lost my way, but got you to help me back. 269 here. This place is huge. Broken water lines during the freeze. Show you a little bit of the amenities this place has. <laughs> It's somebody's birthday. This guy's little daughter. <laughs> yes. Lainey's birthday. Wow, you got this decorated. It's pretty nice. Another day in paradise. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Well, we're getting ready to head out to Texas. Uh, the weather's supposed to get better and, and hopefully it'll stay warm. E trailer reached out to us and uh, wanted to try out these e chocks. So we're gonna give them a try and then we'll let you know how we like them. I like to have this up because down here, can't really get to it as well. It's easier for me to use a little flex here. So now all I gotta do is put this on the e chock, stick it in the wheel like this, get it about centered. And that's that. Now this flips down and you can put your lock in there. Um, the little locks that come with it, if you don't like them, you could change them and get a different lock to put in there. But these do come with a couple locks. I like how easily those go on and with this flex arm here, that really makes it nice. I got this flex arm at uh, either Home Depot or Lowe's. That makes it really quick and simple to put on. So I think we're gonna like them, but we'll let you know for sure. Well, we were supposed to go to Texas um, last week, but we decided to stay here in Benson, Arizona one more week. Um, the weather, as you know, was really bad in Texas. We made some calls yesterday, make sure they had water and electricity. Harlingen, where we're going to be at, they have electricity and water. They haven't been affected as bad. We were going to drive about 12 hours our first day, spend the night one night, and then go on down to Harlingen the next day which was like another three to four hours. But we called a thousand trails at Medina Lake. They've been having some blackout days, but they said they haven't for the last two days. But still, we weren't gonna risk it because they were supposed to get really cold last night as well. We canceled that reservation. We made one a little closer. That's about between seven and eight hours, which is in Fort Stockton. It's just a, a mile off of Interstate 10. They haven't had any issues up there, so. We're good. Gonna get everything unhooked here. Gonna get started and get on the road because it's been a long drive today. Gotta get going. Easy now. You gotta get going. Easy now. Nice thing you guys do. Safe travels to you. Hopefully, uh, Seems like a, a lot, but uh, boy, that motorhome, it was quite a bit too. I'd say the worries bothered us more with the motorhome, more than the teardown. But the teardown, oh, yeah. there was a lot to that too. It was. Leveling it sometimes. Oh yeah, Gosh, that, that was a trial and error a lot too. Yeah, you had to back up off the blocks, put another block down if you're too much, because sometimes it would lift the, when we put the leveling jacks down, it lift the wheels off the ground. We didn't want all that weight on those jacks, so then we have to put the jacks back up, which takes a while for them mm -hmm. to come up, move off of the blocks, and put some more blocks on. So this, as far as that goes, is leveling. I think this is easier, unless you're on a level spot already. Then the motorhome oh, is pretty yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say 95% of the time, your um, site's not completely right. level. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> At least the places we've been. Somebody's gonna pull the Airstream for the first time. You ready for this? Yep. 
You're done driving. Yeah. I drove 150 feet. Honey, we we haven't even made it out to the highway yet. Are you serious? Yeah. You want me to drive? Yeah. Just this time. Hey, good job in the parking lot. All right. checking the gauge on the truck here for the DEF, the DEF fluid, and uh, looks like it's about at a quarter of the way full, so only 800 miles left, and we've got quite a bit more miles than that to go. Oh, yeah. We've got over a thousand miles to go, so we're going to be filling the DEF for our first time. Well... Somebody got brave and decided to drive. Under pressure. I didn't pressure you. Under pressure. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Well, wish us luck. Thank you.
stop here in, in El, I think we're in El Paso, aren't we? Yes. El Paso, Texas. And to get fuel, um, we're long here, we're gonna have to stop and get some DEF fluid. But three hours and 52 minutes, pretty much four hours left to go. cases of water just to have some extra where we are going it's supposed to be okay it's they didn't get hit as bad in Harlan Jenny. we've just seen like and, and that was recent like within the last 15 minutes a couple little patches of snow in the shade but aside from that I think everything melted so far up this direction made it here to Fort Stockton RV Park. It was dark when we got here, so we just hooked up the electric and the water. We pulled right in. It was a pull through and um, just left the truck hooked up. We're going to hit the sack. We are so tired and uh, we didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, she's already in bed back there. Well, the night went okay. Uh, again, we're at Fort Stockton. RV park in Fort Stockton, Texas. The weather was just fine. We had heat. It's fine as you can tell. There's no snow on the ground right now. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's 48 degrees outside. It is 7.25 a.m. Michelle's finishing getting ready. We got about a nine to 10 hour drive today. Probably a little bit longer because we're gonna have to stop and we try to drive slow. Try. We'll just disconnect these two and uh, we pull right out of here. One thing I don't like is that some of the bays, like this one and some of these side bays, they don't put any locks on. This one back here, you could probably rig something up to put a lock on, but at least these you can put little locks on those, but then you're going to have padlocks and what a pain that is. Okay, your little key out and unlock padlocks every time you want to get into. And then some of them are keyed. I think it's about time Airstream changes that. Hello, Airstream. Can you hear? Some lunch made. We can do some meat wraps, no bread, almond crackers. But with the refrigerator, we try to pack everything in there so stuff doesn't move around. So sometimes a bottle of water is a perfect item to fill up that space, fill that void. I think there was a lot of people that use this as a one night stay. Some people could have been their last day to stay here, but there has been quite a few that have been leaving this morning. This little headlight thing, I had to use that last night because we got in late. These are nice and they're adjustable for on, when they're on your head, you can tilt them down. Very, very bright. Got our lunch, we got extra water that we bought. We went ahead and bought a couple cases before we got down here um, because the sounds of it in Harlingen, they didn't get hit as bad. That's what they're telling us. Um, and when I say they're telling us, I mean the RV park that we're going to the resort so yeah i'm gonna get things finished up here and now i'm gonna go unhook uh, the utilities and we'll be on our way hey there's a ventana over there it almost looks like garvini except newer it was 36 dollars a night 
it was four dollars off with our good sam membership it was under the passport america they did not honor the passport america discount right now which the discount would have been twenty dollars but thirty six dollars isn't yeah. bad so we have electricity and water yeah <laughs> that was the main thing it's it kind of tight little, through here but at least we had good utilities and we felt safe 544 miles to go it says eight hours and 35 minutes that's a lie <laughs> it will take us longer not really a lie if you were driving normal 75 speed, or 80 yeah some of the speed limits were 80 some were 75 we typically try to drive 62 i emphasize try yeah we went a lot faster yesterday no, we didn't what? Hushy hushy. <laughs> Straight cruising, headed for a bruising, watching out for number one. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. down here um, we're kind of the GPS is taking us kind of off of the main interstates it's avoiding San Antonio it might be due to road closures still because of the storm not sure but we thought we'd be safe and go this way bad thing is you don't have as many fuel stations so you got these little small places and you just pray and hope that you have room to get in Usually there's a place. There's always a place for semis, but they're far and few between. We don't need fuel yet, but just went ahead and topped it off because Michelle has to use the ladies room anyway, so might as well stop and fuel up just to top it off to make sure we have that little bit extra, just in case. You just never know. Time to get on the road again. New driver. Getting used to it a little bit though? Yes. Besides running somebody off the road yesterday. Damn. I did not see that person in that mirror. Yeah, dang mirror. Um, mirror anyway. I don't know. We yeah. should get a new mirror. At least we're not on the interstate right now, so. Yes. I yeah, this should make it better. better. She knows I'm teasing her. One bad thing about when you're driving long distance, it makes you want to snack constantly. Someone. So Someone does, that's for sure. Someone sure does. Because someone makes someone nervous. Someone yes. <laughs> On the road again. Okay. And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue, even when it is gray, babe. Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away. Your light is shining bright on me. Got no reason to be afraid. You're glowing in the dark. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, 
Glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing in the dark. Looking at ya, you, you're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh, I think I lost my way, but got you to help me back. Tell me what I should do now. Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away. So we are just south of Pump. Texas right next to the border of Mexico a little road here it goes all the way along this fence for miles it has for many miles and we did see a border patrol sitting back a few miles and just sitting there so apparently this little road that goes along the, the fence the border patrol uses it to drive to patrol it first time we've ever been to this area talking how this area here kind of reminds us of Iowa some of this countryside here yeah, which is, well even in the summer sometimes because it was so dreary all the time it was dreary quite a bit we had some sunny days of course and it just it always made us feel like we just wanted to stay in or go to a movie at a theater winter time never wanted to be outside to do anything summertime you always did want to be outside but we had a lot of rainy days and and then when it was sunny it was really humid a lot of bugs you couldn't really enjoy yourself outside without mosquitoes or flies or something carrying you away we love iowa though i mean it has a lot of things that we do like about it yeah oh. it wasn't always that no <laughs> It wasn't always bad, but to be honest, it was hard to enjoy yourself outdoors. And just a few more miles and... Poof! Blue sky and sun. Yeah, it's so nice to see the sun. Yes, <laughs> I can feel it warming up already. So now we're... We just passed Eagle Pass. We just passed Eagle Pass. Heading towards Carrizo Springs. So we're south we're south of San Antonio, southwest. So we're getting down into the warmer area. Looks like we got 284 miles left to go. Another four hours and 28 minutes left at the speed we're going. <laughs> We were just stopped. They had a U.S. Border Patrol where they're stopping everybody. And so they stopped us and asked us where we're going, where we're from. Told him we did this full time. Oh, you do full time? Asked if anybody was in the trailer. Uh, and then asked if we were U.S. citizens. Yeah. Didn't ask for any ID, but was asking all kinds of questions. They could sense we're good people. Yes. So then also, like, right before we got to the little stand or whatever to stop, there's these uh, pictures of, the, what, about 10 people, you think? Yeah. 
and like wanted and people. Two of them were crossed out. But she said two of them had a red X over them. They're either caught or eliminated. Yeah, and you asked the guy. Um, I did. Yeah. He said, uh, "What'd you say?" <laughs> <laughs> Stopped here in Carrizo Springs. Stopped at a place here called Stripes. Got to fill up with diesel here, and this should be all we need to get down to Harlingen. It's a 269 here, a little higher than what we've been getting. into this park into this first area put in the gate code to get in come up to the office get your paperwork and then make a circle around the office and go back out the gate and go down the street to the next entrance is where they're putting us it's this called place. lakeside right michelle yeah this place is huge it is very friendly people too This was one of the only RV parks around the area that still had power uh, during the whole storm. So a lot of people we have heard move from other campgrounds over here, but yet this place is still pretty empty um, as far as what it's usually like this time of the year. As you can see, there's a lot of empty spots. Hookups are decent. They didn't have any broken water lines during the freeze. I figured I would take you around here just real quickly and show you a little bit of the amenities this place has. And uh, then we'll call it a day. So that was the main entrance and adjacent to the main entrance you have the Sunshine Country Club, 
and then we have this which is Sunshine Lakeside. So you have the swimming pool over there too and one here, another clubhouse, uh, another laundry facilities. The laundry facilities over there is quite a bit bigger. It doesn't matter if you stay on this side or the other side, you're able to use everything within this same community. So right now with COVID, they've got this place pretty much closed down. There's uh, one room open where some ladies are sewing. They have a few sewing machines in this building. They have two classrooms. I'm not sure what kind of classes they put on sometimes. And then there's a, a bigger activity center, uh, which none of it is as big as it is over in the main section. If you're staying here with an RV, you gotta go to the main entrance there to the mail room, it's over by the pool and that is where you will ask for your mail. But that's all we have for this week. But we'll catch you next week because it's time to call it a day. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.